Hello, M0 user. My name is Andrew. I want to show you drift detection and remediation within M0. So let's get first started on what are the benefits of drift detection and remediation. Well, drift detection is whenever your code is drifted from your cloud resource. So drift detection will notify you when this occurs. Of course, there's two ways this can occur. One is if the code has been updated, but not the cloud resource or if the cloud resource has been changed, but not the code. So in either scenario, we want to get notified when there's this discrepancy. And then for remediation, sometimes we, we're saying the code is source of truth, but maybe it's not always. For example, if you're updating a tag, sure, we can just automatically approve those changes and remediate those, those tag changes. But what if we made a hotfix to a security group and didn't have time to change the code. In that scenario, you don't necessarily want auto remediation in the sense of the code is gonna overwrite the cloud resource. You may introduce whatever bug or issue that you had that you had to fix anyway. So how can we remediate in a smart manner? In M0, what we do is we have a scheduled deployment with approval policies that will enable the smart auto remediation. Let me show you that in action. Before I do that, uh, let me show you quick, quickly show you how drift detections look in M0. You get a Slack or Teams notification, and in your environment, you get a result of drifted. On the plan stage, you can see exactly kind of a summary of those drifts and click into it to find out exactly what changed. Here I have another drifted environment, this S3 bucket. And if we look at the run in the plan, we can see here that this bucket is some tags that have been deleted. So going back to that scenario, because these are just tags being missed, uh, that are missing, I want to have it autom automatically remediated. So inside the environment, what I've done already is configured a scheduled deployment. So this will deploy every two hours. And on the project, I've also enabled an approval policy. So in my Git repo, I have this open policy agent or Rego file that defines when to allow, automatically allow the deployment to continue. In this scenario, what I'm saying is if there are any deletions, or if there are any creations, I will not allow it. But if it's just updates, then I will allow. So you can, of course, make this tailored to your needs. For example, again, going back to that scenario, just checking for tags, or if you need a security group, purposefully require a, an approval process. Now let's see in an action in M0. To simulate the scheduled deployment, I will go ahead and manually deploy. And we'll let that run. Here we can see the approval policy automatically allowed this deployment. We can see the message here, approve automatically for updates only. I go back into the plan and inspect the plan, you can see here that I'm only updating these tags. Okay, great. Deployment is now complete. The tags have been updated. And I hope this shows you how with M0 scheduled deployments and approval policies, you too can implement smart auto remediation. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you.